So what I usually do to create a logo, I usually go on ChatGPT. But don't worry, uh, besides ChatGPT, we'll talk about other tools as well. I picked out seven other AI tools for generating logo with AI. I never used them before, and we will explore them together. So to give you guys a little bit of context, I recently started a community called Marketing for Dev. Uh, because as a developer and running my own business, I kind of suck at marketing. So I hope that I can learn from other people and also maybe I can share my learning as well. Um, so this community is still very fresh. So there's no logo. Today we're going to be making a logo for this community. So before you go into ChatGPT to tell it to draw a logo for you, it's best that you look at other logo first so you can get an idea of what to tell ChatGPT. So in here I will look up uh, community logo because marketing for dev will be a community. I also looked up icons for marketing and the most common icons for marketing is the megaphone icons for developer. It's very obvious that it's a uh, dude behind a laptop and tell her to draw me a logo for a community called marketing for deaf and keep it simple okay we have the first image you can click into the image and then have a better look at it. Um, but for now, this is a little too complicated for me. So this is definitely uh, what we don't want. So for some reason that it always have two different elements separately. Why one is that to have two brackets on the side of megaphone but right now it's putting the brackets on the bottom have megaphone on a back of a laptop okay so this is a lot better although it's not perfect but it kind of gives the concept of marketing for dev so right now we're going to keep this as the contender for our logo for the community so this service is called luca and if you go into the website on the top there is a logo maker and it will take you to this page it says free logo maker and you enter in the brand name for me is marketing for dev and I select a few logo that I like pick some colors you like um, let's go with blue marketing so I also want software so now I have three marketing related and two death related icons so now Luca has generated a bunch of logos for me however they're all rectangle I was looking for square logos which will fit nicely for a slack channel but I just pick one so I think this one looks pretty clean and here you see that it takes me to the logo editing and then I can click on the logo and the, the fonts. Also, it includes other assets that are useful to... So this format is very similar to how you will get a logo if you hire someone on Fiverr. Usually they will generate a logo and then put it on a whole bunch of places to show you what it looks like on let's say a business car or social cover or uh, a letterhead etc 
I can only use the icon if I want to use the square ratio logo and all the icons are preset so you cannot really have a original icon um, but I would rather have something that generates an icon that represents what I'm envisioning for example uh, something with the laptop with the megaphone etc and lastly if I click on download get brand kit and download and it takes me to the pricing page but I think overall this service is very straightforward uh, if you need a logo that contains many different assets and has very good typography I think uh, Luca is a good choice because if you generate a logo on ChatGPT as of now it's not very good with typography or words so if you want copy with your logo it's best to go with Luca um, although the price is a little bit high uh, in my opinion uh, but let's see how they stack up to the other alternatives next up we have logoai.com I found this website through Google uh, they have a perfect domain name for logo and AI and let's get started marketing for dev Logo name is marketing for dev. Continue. So they don't really have a marketing category, although I could click on others, but I think it's more towards internet. And let's have code as the color schemes. Select font style that you like like modern after signing up I can see the different options for the logo and different from Luca you can see that it has watermark on the previews so right now I'm just gonna choose one that I think I like I'm going to choose this one click on edit although it does suggest some similar icons based on the logo that you chose so I think I like the initial icon that I chose it looks pretty clean let's check out the pricing here are the pricing um, the one-time payment is $29 so one thing I noticed that was pretty unique to this uh, logo AI.com is that you can have GIF animation for your logo it's very helpful if you have a for example a discord channel that would let you display a logo animated also on the bottom there is a check mark for designer fix so it also lets you hire a real person to fix your logo all in all it is pretty clean uh, pre-made options like Luca although the one-time payment price is a little bit higher uh, and also it doesn't provide the other assets as uh, Luca um, it is very straightforward to use you can go through the whole process in a relatively short time and let's see the next one this next tool is called hatch4 it's a tool developed by Shopify and after you go in here you just click on create a logo now and for us we choose a business based tech choose your visual style and let's go with creative business name is marketing for dev let's say social media so he has a pre-made logos this one kind of looks like a toilet this one kind of looks like a Harley Davidson logo so this one is kind of cool I like the idea of scientific approach to marketing 
After going to the edit, you can edit the name and the slogan, fonts, color, icons, and layout. And click on next when you're happy with the logo. And then you can download the logo. It tells you to sign up. Um, for some reason, it doesn't let me download, but it does look like I could download it for free. This hatch four tool is very useful and very straightforward, but I wouldn't say it's AI powered logo generator. It looks like it has a lot of pre-made templates and it just replaces the, the text and also the icons and then lets you change colors, etc. But it does let you create a logo pretty fast and you can download it for free. So I was being blind. After I click on download, there's a message on the top. It says, all done, your logo package and design file has been sent to and then your email. And after going to check my email, I could download the zip file. And the file looks like this. It has a whole bunch of assets for different social media. This next tool is called logo.com. It's a perfect domain name for logo. When you go in there, it says, launch your business with a free logo. So I'm assuming it's a free. Type in the business name and say, make a logo. Tell us about yourself, business owner. Pick an industry, select keywords, and it generates a whole bunch of logo for us. View of the logo. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing any square looking logo. And I can also modify the, the name, the slogan, change the keyword icons. I can also change the color and fonts, I'm, I'm guessing. So other than the text itself, marketing for dev, it's hard to find a logo that's both a concept of marketing and also development. So there is concept for community. Uh, I would say maybe this one is the closest. So let's just go with that. Then you can change the different colors. It generates a bunch of other variation on the left. I like to keep it simple. I don't like the curved looking style of the text but it doesn't look like I can change it back to the normal looking text. Let's just go with this. It says go get logo. After click on get logo, I have to sign up. So after signing up, you will have some upsells here for me. Uh, ask me if I want domain or business email, or website, etc. So I'm guessing this is how they can generate more revenue. And after I click through the upsell, it takes me to another page where it asks me to subscribe to their monthly plan. So it doesn't look like I could download the logo for free. And this is the type of website that always annoys me because you go through all the work in the beginning but in the end, that it asks you to pay for this thing, but it doesn't tell you in the beginning that you need to pay for it. So this is where we will stop. Uh, we have a really clear view of the pricing, or maybe we can go to choose plan and see what they offer. After choose plan, it takes me directly to the Stripe page where I need to initiate the payment already. So they only have a monthly plan and a yearly plan. Um, and, but after leaving the subscription page, you can still go back to the dashboard where you can see there is a logo that you generated. And let's click on download. So you could download the logo zip file and click on for personal use only. So in the end, you could download the logo for free but you will have to go through a lot of their sales process where they try to upsell you more services. Uh, but if you just want to get the logo for free, you just have to click through the close button or also the cancel button and just make sure that to enter in any credit card before uh, if you want to download the logo for free. It's a little bit cheaper uh, than the other ones that I saw earlier. But in the end, I will do a comparison for all the tools. This next tool is called Free Logo Maker by Namecheap. 
In here, I put in my company name, click on create logo, put in digital marketing, clean, versatile, friendly, and neutral. Serious or fresh? Let's go for the middle. Thin or thick? Middle again. Playful or elegant? Elegant. Organic or geometric? Middle one. Funky or normal? Pick your favorite color. Blue. Add a slogan. Not gonna add a slogan because I'm not adding it to the other ones as well. Choose an icon. Pick three favorite icons. Do they have megaphone? Like this one. Developer. So after picking the icons, it shows me the results. All of them are rectangle, and none of them are squared. Logo. Again, I can edit the color, text, slogan, icon, and layout. It does show me what it looks like on different assets as well. It looks like I need to log in to download. So after downloading the logo, this is what I got. A bunch of PNGs in different sizes and also vector in SVG. So all in all, you can reuse a lot of this in different format. And they have a different approach to how you create a logo. The different questions they ask is more simple and straightforward. And let's move on to the next one. So this next tool is called Solo Go. I found this on an AI directory called There is an AI for that. So you go into their homepage, they have an input box like the other logo maker. You enter in your brand name, you click on get started. Now gonna add a slogan. What is your logo for? Your community. Have an idea for your logo description. Describe your idea or inspiration for the logo, whether it's an abstract concept or a symbol or any element that represents your brand. A megaphone with a laptop. Any idea that symbolizes marketing and software development. It's now generating logo for me. So after generating, it gives me 10 different options. And a lot of them are text dominant. There's a few with uh, graphics. But none of them looks very close to the concept of marketing for dev. Nothing for marketing or nothing for dev. <clears throat> Some of the logo looks like they're for car rentals or maybe even a motorcycle company and there's maybe a cafe that has this logo a pier that could be a YouTube channel for a food review so I say the closest might be the last one even though it's not even close to marketing or dev it looks more like an investment firm I'll click on similar so it does generate a few they variants from the original ones. I can also click on color, which generates different color for the logo that I clicked on. So maybe this is the cleanest one. I click on preview. After preview, you ask me to sign up. So after I log in and then I see the preview, it has tell me that it has different license and also shows me a bunch of assets with the logo on it and let's try to click on download all so maybe it hasn't loaded all the assets uh, when I click on download all, it doesn't do anything. So let's just try to download one logo. So 
So I'm not sure what happens. Uh, I tried to download individual logos as well and also download all the logo, uh, but nothing is happening. So I try to refresh. And uh, after I refresh, it doesn't see me as logged in. And then now it's try to generate new logos. And then now it's stuck at the loading screen. That's too bad. So we cannot see. We cannot see the final logo that we generated. This next one is called logomaster.ai. Also found this from AI directory. Click on let's create your logo now. Ask me to select a logo category. Companies, organization, and community. Pick at least three logo that you like. Select color, I'm going to select blue, company name, marketing for death. Add icon, so I search for megaphone, and I choose this one. After selecting the icon, it generates a few options for me. I like the look of option 5. After clicking on option 5, it takes me to an editing page where I can select the different elements and make edits to it. After clicking on preview, it takes me to a carousel where it shows me the logo on different assets. So it does pick up the local currency for me. In the US dollar, one time fee is 19 US dollar. And I can download a sample. So the sample that I downloaded is not related to the logo I created. It's just a separate logo that they have made already. And I guess it's just for you to see what kind of file you're getting. So that's that's it for logomaster.ai. All right, to wrap up, I created this comparison table for me to decide which one is the best and what I might be using. But in conclusion, I will still make my logo with ChatGPT. Although it doesn't have very good text generation, but you can always drop it in, into Canva or other image editing tools to create your logo with the image and the text. Uh, but ChatGPT right now can help you generate more unique icons that will just be different from everything you've seen on the internet. But if you're just in a hurry, you want a free logo, I would recommend Hashful by Shopify. I think their tool is the most straightforward and also very easy to use and the fastest for you to get the result. And also if you want more human touch, then you can go with LogoAI.com. Although it does cost more money, but you can have a human edit your logo for you. Um, although you can also do that by hiring a person on Fiverr, uh, but at least you will have a more understanding on the first version of your logo instead of the freelancer giving you the logo at the end and then not being what you expected it to be. Um, so it's a little bit of combining of both AI and also human uh, to get the job done. So all in all, logo creation is very subjective and maybe you like the look of the logo on one website from the other. Uh, but from what I see from these tools, uh, most of the tools are mostly just templates and they're interchanging the templates with the options that you choose from the steps. Um, it doesn't really seem like they use a lot of generative AI to create unique icons. Although I think in the future they, they could implement that and you can really let your imagination run wild with the icon generation by providing uh, what you want the, in the icon and in that way you can really create a unique icon. But also ChatGPT can also improve on DALI and its model to create more unique icons too uh, and also 
probably will improve on the text generation. So maybe in the future that we can just all do this in ChatGPT uh, instead of trying to find a tool online that can do this. So thank you for watching to the end. Uh, did I miss any tools or do you know any other AI tools for creating logo? Please comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.